Today, we have some mind-blowing news that could potentially change the game for smartphones. So get ready because it looks like it's game over for Apple with the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. I know it might be a bit early to talk about the Galaxy S25 Ultra, but the rumors circulating are simply too exciting to ignore. The battleground for supremacy has shifted, and it seems like Samsung, with the help of Qualcomm, might finally dethrone Apple. The key player here, the Qualcomm Snapdragon Ad Gen 4 chip. Over the past couple of years, we've witnessed a shift in the balance of power. Apple's A-series chips were once untouchable, but Qualcomm's Ad Gen 2 and Ad Gen 3 chips started to close the performance gap. The Galaxy S23 Ultra and S24 Ultra outpaced their iPhone counterparts in graphic performance, and now the Ad Gen 4 is poised to take things to a whole new level. The big rumor from China suggests that the Galaxy S25 Ultra might boast a staggering 4.3 GHz clock speed thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon and Gen 4 chip. This chip introduces the latest Orion CPU cores, originally designed for laptops and computers, promising unprecedented smartphone performance. Brace yourselves for the numbers. The rumored single-core score for the Age Gen 4 is expected to surpass 3500, blowing past the Apple A18 chip struggling to reach a 3300 score. And that's not all. Prepare for the Age Gen 4 to dominate in multi-core and GPU performance as well. Imagine the incredible gaming experience on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. I'm hoping Samsung collaborates with game studios to bring console-level games to the smartphone. With a GPU lead over Apple and superior CPU performance, Samsung could redefine the gaming landscape. It's like Qualcomm found a cheat code with the Orion CPU cores. Unlike Apple's M-series chip exclusivity, Qualcomm is bringing these powerful cores to smartphones, potentially revolutionizing the industry. The 3NM process is expected to enhance efficiency compared to the AGN 3's 4 nanometer process. It appears that Qualcomm is ready to shatter boundaries and deliver a level of smartphone performance we've never seen before. Could this be the end of Apple's dominance? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. Qualcomm is on a mission to redefine what's possible in the world of smartphones. But wait, there's more. The AGN 4 isn't just about raw power. We can expect even more incredible generative AI features. Samsung has promised to continue developing next-gen AI features, potentially bringing real-time video and photo generation to our phones. As we move closer to the Galaxy S25 Ultra launch, excitement is building. The possibilities of next-gen features and mind-bending AI make us eagerly anticipate what Samsung has in store for us. And remember, we're still far from the official launch, so stay tuned for updates. All right, folks, that wraps up today's video. If you're as blown away as I am by these rumors, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And to all you Apple fans out there, I want to hear from you too. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe for more exciting tech content. Until next time, peace out. As we all know, the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G is releasing, so let's talk about it. If you have already watched this video, you can skip this part. The much-anticipated Galaxy A55 is on the horizon, and we have got all the details you need. Samsung's Galaxy A50 series has been a standout in the smartphone market, particularly for its impressive features at an attractive price point. Following the success of the Galaxy F54, Samsung is gearing up for the release of its successor, the Galaxy F55. Let's delve into everything we currently know about this eagerly awaited device. Going by historical patterns, Samsung typically unveils its Galaxy A-series phones towards the end of the first quarter, so we can anticipate the Galaxy F55 to hit the stage around March 2024, following the release schedule of its predecessors. Shifting gears to variance in pricing, Bluetooth side data hints at three Galaxy A55 models, SM A 556 b SM A 556 e and SM A 556 e underscore DS. The SM A 556 b seems tailored for Europe, while the others may target Asian markets. While exact pricing details are scarce if we consider past generations, the Galaxy A54 at £449 slash $449, the Galaxy A53 at £399 slash $449, and the Galaxy A52 at £399 slash $499. It's reasonable to expect the Galaxy A55 to stay below the £500 slash $500 mark. Design. Leaped renders showcase the Galaxy A55 in three captivating colors. Awesome ice blue, awesome lilac, and awesome navy. Inspired by the A54, it features the key island design with a subtly raised frame around the power and volume keys, confirming a sleep metal build. 
The phone has rounded corners, a protruding rear camera array, and a flat display with a noticeable bezel and a punch hole for the selfie camera. Expected dimensions, 161.1 x 77.3, 8.2 millimeters, 6.3 x 3.0, 0.32 inches display. Now, turning our attention to the display. While exact details on the Galaxy A55's display specs remain uncertain, if Samsung continues with the A54's display, users can expect satisfaction. Speculations point towards a 6.5 inch flat display featuring a centered Infinity O front camera. Anticipated specifications include full HD plus resolution and a refresh rate of up to 120 Hertz. Given the A54's impressive display, any enhancements in this area will surely elevate the overall user experience. Performance. Now let's talk about performance. The Galaxy A55 continues the series evolution, moving from the criticized Exynos 1280 to the improved Exynos 1380 in the A54. Now it's rumored to feature the latest Exynos 1480, a promising upgrade. According to Geekbench 6 results, this new soak is expected to be paired with an unconventional GPU choice, the Xclipse 530 based on AMD's RDNA2 architecture. While the CPU improvements may not be groundbreaking, the shift in GPU could potentially enable the A55 to support ray tracing in games, although this feature is yet to be confirmed. The A55 prototype scored 1127 in the single-core test and 3090 in the multi-core test, surpassing the A54 by a slight margin. The device is expected to retain 8GB of RAM, maintaining a balance between performance and efficiency. Cameras. Shifting our focus to the camera setup, rumors suggest that the Galaxy A55 might not bring significant changes in this department. The Galaxy Club report suggests no major changes, but that's not necessarily bad news. The A54 delivered impressive photos for its price. While the rear camera setup seems consistent, unfortunately, there's no news on any front camera updates. If the leaks are accurate, the Galaxy A55 might continue to use the same 32 megapixel front camera sensor as its predecessor, the Galaxy A54. While the A54's front camera delivers decent performance, some users may have hoped for an upgrade given the iterative nature of smartphone releases. Battery and charging. Now onto the Galaxy A55's battery and charging. TUV Rhineland certification reveals 25 LU fast charging with 9V and 2.55 as support. The 3C certification reinforces Samsung's dedication to fast charging in mid-range phones. While exact battery details are limited, we anticipate reliable 5,000 mAh cell for extended usage. Network and connectivity. Moving on to network and connectivity, the Bluetooth SIG certification reveals that the Galaxy F55 will sport Bluetooth 5.3, matching the capabilities of its predecessor, the A54. Consistent connectivity ensures a smooth user experience, especially with wireless accessories. Software. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the software. The Galaxy F55 is gearing up for launch with Android 14 and Samsung's One UI 6, promising a seamless and user-friendly experience. This combo suggests exciting enhancements to Samsung's ecosystem. Plus, users can anticipate robust software support with the possibility of receiving four major Android updates throughout the device's lifespan. Stay tuned for those latest Android advancements.